The ACLU has filed a federal lawsuit looking to overturn an Oklahoma law that restricts school bathroom use to a person's sex they were assigned at birth. The Oklahoma State Department of Education, the Attorney General, and multiple school districts are being sued in this case. News Force Kaitor K has more details for us. Kaitor, what are you finding out? Yeah, so one of the plaintiffs in the case is a senior at Noble High School, a transgender boy who feels stigmatized for not being allowed to use the school's boys' bathroom. It's a violation of the 14th Amendment's Equal Protection Clause, and it's also a violation of the federal statute Title IX, which requires that the treatment between sexes be the same uh, in order to get federal funding in public schools. The ACLU of Oklahoma challenging Senate Bill 615, which restricts state school bathroom use to a person's assigned sex at birth. One of the plaintiffs is Andy Bridge, a 16-year-old senior at Noble High School. Under this new law, unfortunately, Andy would be required to go to the women's restroom even though he identifies as male. Two other transgender students are named in the suit filed Tuesday, bringing their complaints against Harding Independence Charter District, more public schools, Oklahoma City Public Schools, the Oklahoma State Department of Education, and the Oklahoma Attorney General. Co-counsel for the case, Nicholas Gullery of Lambda Legal, says these students deserve the ability to learn in a welcoming, harassment-free environment. It's stigmatizing and discriminatory to exclude transgender students from access to the same facilities as other students. Um, no one should be told that they're um, so shameful that they shouldn't be allowed to participate um, in such a thing as simple as using the restroom along with their peers. News 4 has reached out to the State Board of Education, AG's office, and all the school districts involved. Each say that they cannot comment on pending litigation.